Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is Arctic Fox Studios. We've got another patch creation video for you using a variety of plugins today. I do these so hopefully you can maybe get some creative ideas to help jumpstart your own patches using whatever tools you have available. So links to all the products that I'm using today are in the list below. To start, I'm going to focus on UVI's Falcon and in particular the UVX-10P instrument which is UVI's sampled take on the Roland JX-10. The JX-10 was actually two JX-8s smashed into one and was Roland's first use of both velocity and aftertouch in one of their keyboards. If you think some of the sounds of the JX-10 are familiar, you're not wrong. Uh, Pink Floyd, Duran Duran, and The Cure were a few of the top bands that used this keyboard. I'm starting out by stacking a number of patches to get both some high and low frequency tones. I'm going to speed up through some of my minor mixing and EQ tweaks here and also the addition of two delays into the series on the woodblock sound that we have. I'm also adjusting the reverb to get some more depth. Next, I'm going to load up Abyss by Dawson, and let's see what comes up when we roll the dice. I can use the spread feature here to give some stereo separation. Abyss is great for adding a lot of movement. It's a lot of fun when you can press one note or hold like a chord and get something that sounds totally organic and continues to change over like five or six seconds or even longer.
So I skipped ahead a bit. Uh, we've adjusted our sounds and added a cool volume dive that is activated by aftertouch. We've got this cool wavetable organ thing going on with a metal and woodblock hit. If I take the attack and decay down a bit, we can get more of a pad sound out of it. Thank you. 
That aftertouch volume dive makes this really expressive. The slow attack and decay on the pad make this sound like two separate instruments, even though both are activated simultaneously. If I insert shade in between the pad and the metal block hits, we can get even more variability in stereo separation. Let's insert Valhalla Shimmer on this uh, because it's like, you know, putting the cherry on the sundae basically. Okay, we've fast forwarded one more time as I made some final EQ and mix tweaks to the Roland 10 XP. And this is really starting to sound awesome.
This is really sounding awesome, but we can add one more effect in here to really mangle this up. I'm gonna try some infiltrator and let's see if we can make this sound even more unique. There you go, one fantastic combi. You can click on any of the instruments or effects to remove them, and with Infiltrator off, it's this beautiful, evocative organ patch. Then when you turn it on, it becomes a whole different animal. Uh, definitely more electronic and, and uh, glitch-oriented. So I'm pretty happy with those results. Uh, this one's probably going to turn up into a song if I can find some time to sit down and write music. I hope you got something out of this that you can use in your creative process. Links to the effects and instruments are below. Like and subscribe is below. Free awesome Dawson Abyss patches are below. And thanks for watching, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.